In today's video, I want to just cover the three flavors of client isolation that are supported by the Grandstream access points. So welcome to the channel. My name is Tony, and if this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button and that little bell so that you're alerted to when I release some new content. So what exactly is client isolation? Simply put, client isolation restricts wireless clients connected to a wireless network from accessing resources on a wired connection. So the Grandstream line of access points support three flavors or modes of client isolation, radio mode, internet mode, and gateway Mac mode. Let's take a look at each of those in a visual representation. So the first mode we'll take a look at is internet mode. So looking at this diagram, you can see that the wireless clients can access the internet and that's all they have access to, but they can't access or talk to each other. In the next mode, gateway Mac mode, you can see that the wireless clients can still access the internet. They have access to the router's web interface, but they still cannot talk to each other. And in the third mode, radio mode, the clients have access to the internet, the router's web interface, and the GWN's web interface, but yet they still cannot talk to each other. Okay, so now that we know the differences between the three flavors or modes of client isolation supported in the Grandstream access points, let's take a look at how to apply it to a wireless network. So I'm inside the 7615, which is the access point we used in the mixed vendor network video. If you missed that, I'll put a link up above and down in the video description below. So let's come off the dashboard and let's come over to where it says SSIDs. And here are the three SSIDs that we created in that last video. Let's look at the guest network. We'll come on over and we'll click on the edit icon. And if we scroll down through the settings, we can see here that in that last video, I did in fact enable client isolation. And here are the three modes we just talked about. And in that video, I left it set to radio for the purpose of that video. But here's where you can set it to radio, internet, or gateway. Now remember, leaving it set to radio means that the wireless clients can't talk to each other, but they can get to the internet, they can get to the router's web interface, and they can get to the GWN's web interface as well. If we change it and select internet, now the clients can only get to the internet and still cannot talk to each other. And finally, in the last mode under Gateway Mac, if we select this, we have to put in the MAC address of the router. So remember, with this mode of client isolation selected, the wireless clients still can't talk to each other. They can get to the internet. They can get to the router's web user interface, but they cannot get to the GWN's web user interface. So I'm gonna set it for this video back to internet. I want my guests to not be able to get anywhere but the internet, including not being able to talk to each other. So that said, I'm gonna go down and click on Save. So now I hope you have a better understanding of the three different modes or flavors of client isolation supported by the Grandstream access points. The mode you select will all depend on your environment. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos listed up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And as always, I wanna thank you for using my Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.